Hello. Hiya. Stop it, you're distracting me. Should I put him out? <laughs> yeah, right, come on, out. Come on. Come on. So 2023 was everything that I had kind of planned for that year. You know, I wanted to go to the test event and do well there. Hope like I had the idea of winning it. I didn't think I'd actually, you know, do that. And then um, to qualify for the Olympics as well. And then to top it off by, you know, becoming world champion. It was just everything and more that I thought I was capable of doing. Going into last winter, I felt really, really motivated ahead of this year and um, with like some even bigger goals uh, in the 2024 season and yeah I think I've, I've had a really really solid winter I've really enjoyed training um, yeah it's been it's been really good and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting the ball rolling at the next race <laughs> it's been really nice to just not feel rushed and not feel like I've got you know to hit things, like, you know, to hit targets in races early season and show form and get points. So that part of it has been really nice and just knowing that I just need to prepare for the 31st of July. Um, but yeah, part of me is, you know, kind of wanting to see where I'm at as well. Um, you know, off the back of a really, really strong winter, I was really excited to see the form in Abu Dhabi and, and you know, kind of test myself against the other girls. So um, that's been a bit frustrating, but you know, I've got enough um, data points from training and enough, you know, sort of markers from that to know where I'm at. So I feel quite relaxed about it still. I'm trying not to look at the negatives of the race being cancelled because, you know, I'm really fortunate to be in a good position. You know, I've, I've got my selection and, you know, like it was just a bonus race for me just to see where the form was at after the winter. So, um, and also we, we got to actually go through the whole, um, you know, race process of like, well, for me, not sleeping the night before and, you know, even just the kind of stress in the morning of the race. So we, we've, you know, we've done all that. So it's, we're not too, we weren't, the only bit we didn't do was a race. And I find that once you get to the race course, it's much more relaxing. Not relaxing, sorry, that's the wrong word, but it's not as stressful as the kind of waiting game when you're at home or when you're in the hotel room. So, um, yeah, that, that was frustrating, but at least we've kind of gone through the motions without the race. Um, just it's just a shame to fly all that way and then not get the chance to kind of race but um yeah i, I yeah i had an easy week back in leeds and i uh, i saw that the form was there because i was feeling really fresh so uh, it wasn't all lost Where is the kettle? It's been moved. Everything's getting moved around at the moment. Mm. It's been, it's really good. I've got my feed covered. Oh my goodness. My snack, my snack drawers. So the, the feed like, literally sent me all of this stuff. So yeah. How was that this morning? Yeah, it was good. We um, had a long swim, so Wednesdays are just kind of aerobic swimming, but um, we did a bit of drafting practice, so I was roped in with the boys. And then, yeah, back home um, just for a dog walk, 
bit of breakfast and then um, off to do a long ride in the Dales this afternoon. How's the swimming feeling at the minute? Does it look good there training with the lads obviously? Yeah, swimming's actually um, it's going well at the moment. I struggled a lot of last year with like a sore shoulder. So luckily not had too many issues on that side of things uh, this year. But um, yeah, just enjoying kind of getting the work done and yeah, it's been it's been a good winter. So it looks like we're just about getting there with the, the house. Yeah, it's uh it's it's to be fair, it's been a quick uh process. Like it's been only three months, so um yeah, looking forward to having some furniture and have people round. Finally. This is the only room that's not, not actually um, finished. We've got some shelves to be put in and then this needs to be painted and some like new furniture. But uh, everywhere else, the upstairs is all done. Um, the painter's actually in just now, he's just finishing off. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's really exciting. It's a completely different house and anyone who was here before will know. Um, actually we have, <laughs> I think I might get it framed. <laughs> We have a, <laughs> this is the, our old carpet in here, so it's a lot, it's looking a lot different. Um, but yeah, it was very old fashioned, very dated, um, but it's completely different now and it's just nice. To, we've got our own stamp on it now. Yeah, we tend to go to Spain usually every February as a kind of pre-season camp and it's worked really well the last couple of years. Um, this winter we did end up going um, in December as well for a month with, I went with Nora, my training partner. So yeah, uh, potentially, you know, going a little bit more often, but it's, it's just nice to get away from the weather here in, in Leeds when it's particularly uh, tough going and the winter is long. So it's nice to kind of get some sunshine and get some uh, better riding and uh, dry roads. Yes, yeah, so I didn't do any kind of proper sort of running or run sessions before I went there. I've been struggling with a little bit of an ankle issue since last summer. So yeah, it was really good to kind of get out there and get some faster running done and that sort of kick started and I feel like I'm in a, in a good place on that now. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just easier, like even just getting dressed, it's just easier to put on summer kit than winter kit and it takes far less time um, and just easier to do the faster stuff as well. The ankle was grumbling on for a while. I think it started um, at the uh, middle of the season last year, so around about Paris. Um, it was bothering me. Um, I think it was actually off the back of um, that course, funnily enough, even though I still want the cobbles in, that's not that wasn't my decision. Um, I just say, yeah, I think, yeah, potentially, you know, just wear and tear, but also um, probably something like, you know, I've got a tendency to roll that ankle a lot, and uh, there was just a lot of swelling and inflammation that couldn't get under control. Um, so we had a cortisol injection in January. I had to have a bit of time off, just not not long, just a bit of time off offloading it and then kind of returning back into running. But yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, and I'm feeling in a good place with it now. It, it's difficult and when I, you know, when I was competing on the track and field, we had to do the same thing. We had to peak for a trial, four weeks out of the games, and then yeah, obviously peak at the games as well. Um, and it's, it's difficult and you go through, you know, I certainly went through an emotional roller coaster of like being picked for my first Olympics. Um, and you have the high of that and then you have the emotional come down afterwards. So it's, it's difficult in managing all the emotions, but it's nice to have had that. That's out of the way now. That was in November for me. And just to be fully focused on, um, yeah, on the summer. Next plan is the Arena Games in London on the 13th of April. And yeah, I think the year so far has been, yeah, it's gone to plan. Hopefully that should. Um, with you know like a good camp in Spain, injury free, feeling good, feeling healthy, um, training is going well, enjoying training which is really important to me and yeah just looking forward to getting the ball rolling in April. <laughs>